Amber Heard says, toss the verdict, judge. It's BS of the evidence, and there was a fake juror. So we had already heard reports and um, updates from Amber Heard's team that she was going to be appealing the verdict from the jury. And so Amber Heard, she wants basically a do-over, and she's asking the judge to um, do one of a couple of things, right? So she's saying either I want you to set aside the verdict, um, I want you to dismiss it altogether. I want you to dismiss the complaint or just order a new trial. And she's saying that for a couple of reasons. And I want your guys' thoughts on this because obviously we've been covering this. We covered the whole trial. We've been covering what's been going on. And so I'll be, I'll be sure to link the playlist with all of our videos. But she's laid out a couple of reasons. One is that she's saying there was not sufficient evidence on Johnny Depp's side to convince a jury that her words created his career loss. Right, so we did kind of hear this in the trial as well, but as far as his career was already suffering, Pirates was kind of flopping anyway. They didn't want him in the first place, so the fact that he didn't get that number six um, was because of his own, you know, wrongdoing, not showing up to set, being drunk. Um, so we did hear that throughout the trial, and so that's a sentiment that she's continuing to reiterate. But, you know, the problem is that you can't go back to the trial court and say, hey, I want you to, uh, you know, overturn the verdict and to have a new interpretation of the evidence. What the judge can do, what the court can do, is to potentially do something like that if the jury, for example, just simply ignored the jury instructions, right? So the jury had a job, and if the jury failed to do that by ignoring their instructions, that could be a base or a basis for the um, court to, you know, uh, come up with a different judgment, notwithstanding the verdict. So that was number one. Um, number two, you know, she's talking about how there was uh, other pieces of evidence that were not admitted into the trial that should have been. This has to do, obviously, with process, um, you know, but then also, this is really interesting, and I'm trying to get more information about it, but she's, she's saying that juror number 15 basically was like a fraud. There was some other guy that wasn't the real person that was supposed to be there. So specifically, Amber and her team claim that one of the jurors who decided her fate may not have actually been the person summoned to court and that the court apparently missed it by not properly vetting them. So this one's interesting, guys, for a couple of reasons, right? Because, you know, part of the question comes to, well, is this a harmless error? So if it really was someone who snuck in or was trying to impersonate someone else or to fill in for them, we don't really know the exact scenario just yet, but would it have mattered? Because if it would have, right, and I'm sure Amber Heard and her team are absolutely claiming that, right, because they go, we would have had a total difference of an outcome because all we needed was one person to disagree on that jury. Remember, in Virginia, they require a unanimous verdict. And so, you know, I think that that's a very strong argument to say that had there been the proper person, then potentially there could have been a different outcome. And so we have like a mistrial and we got to do it all over. So I think that that may be a little bit more of a strong basis for her to make this argument. But we need to know a little bit more about this juror number 15. And, you know, again, was it in fact not the correct person? And guys, something I kind of want to remind you of is, you know, remember there were two alternates that were um, a part of the whole process. They saw the entire trial, but then they were dismissed by the judge at the close of closing arguments because um, for deliberation purposes, you always have alternates. That's just how it goes in case, you know, at week five in the trial, a juror is hit by a bus and you don't want to make the, you know, plaintiff and the defendant suffer by having to go through the whole process again. So a part of the way that our you know judicial system is set up is to make sure that those alternates are in place so my question was you know why weren't the alternates included in the deliberation because let's say you know if it had been unanimous across the board including the alternates and that was considered so in the instance that we need to basically like replace juror number 15 because of some foul play which we're not even really clear on at this point um I don't know. I think that would have kind of cured or resolved this issue.